doing it. That thing's deep. It is. It's pretty big, actually. You don't want it. You don't want it? <laughs> I'm not that big. It's bigger than it looks. What did you want, sir? <laughs> um, I, I, we did on top of Gale Head, it was beautiful. Yeah. Paul, can you move those top parts now? The, the groove there, right? Put it in, and make sure I step on it. And then pull it tight, right? And then pull it up, it kind of locks itself in, right? You want to try that on the back? You gotta lift this up. Pull it in. Pull it in. That angle is strong, right? Don't pull it. one of the things I always do when I get a new tent is I set it up someplace in a controlled environment first so I know what to expect and the good news is because I set this up I was able to pace it off while I was inside and I knew the exact dimensions that I needed so getting this base dug out to the proper dimensions I know it's a little bit tight but it does fit and it's the proper length so I have it now so that at least the body of the tent is in a good flat spot now the vestibule is going to come out further and dangle, which is fine. It'll actually make it kind of easy to get inside the tent. But at this point, I'm in good shape. I can set it up the rest of the way, get myself ready for this trip. Out. I'm just gonna pop in this first one and then you can help me with the next one, okay? Don't pop in this one yep, hold on. I don't need to get a poke, poke it sticking around. Okay. Yeah, you can put that side in. You know how to do it? Okay. Slide that side in the corner. Yep, pull it towards you the whole corner. Slide that in. Spin it around the other way. Spin the black thing around. It's upside down. Spin it. Yep. That way. Yep. Yep. Tell me when. Okay, watch out. I'm going to push this up. You know how to do the clips? You know how to do these clips right here, Ben? I'm going to pop them on.
sure it flew off. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nicey. Nice. Okay. You do that back corner. Tent. Yeah. That's good. You've been in a lot of tents. Yeah, this is one of my favorite. Favorite so far? Yeah. How'd you like it, Ben? Uh, Did you sleep good last night? Yeah. It's much bigger than the other version of it, and I like that. Mm -hmm. I think we fit perfect. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely enough room to fit other things in here, too. Mm -hmm. You were warm enough last night? Yeah, I was pretty warm. You ready for breakfast? Yeah, I'll eat breakfast. Alright, let's go eat. So we're out here in the middle of day two. Just lounging around and I thought it would be a good time to walk you through the features of this Krua Duo Max. Now the Krua Duo is a tent that we've taken a look at in the past. If you're interested in seeing the details on the Krua Duo, look back at one of my prior videos. Now here being the Krua Duo Max. Very, very similar in most ways to the Krua Duo, with the idea being this is the larger version. And there are some updates I can see on this version over my previous Krua Duo. Now, I got the Krua Duo, I feel like, fairly early on in production, and I think at this point they've made a couple of minor design changes, nothing major. Um, the overall general philosophy exactly the same, it's just some of the fine details. But I'm going to take you through this, the first thing being, you saw me setting this up yesterday. Now, we did spend the night in this, I can tell you, after one night, very, very comfortable. We had a wonderful night, very comfortable. Uh, not a lot of condensation on the inside, very nice and everything vented very well. It was cool, not hot, and definitely comfortable temperature. And the setup is very straightforward. As you saw, I dug myself my area. We actually lined the front with some rocks to hold up the sand on a fairly level spot, and this worked out extremely, extremely well. If you look at this point, I have this nice front porch area with this vestibule and it makes a perfect seat. So we have the ability to sit down, take off our boots, get our feet nice and clean before we get in, kick off the sand, because we are in a very sandy area, and that has worked out perfectly. Now the one thing that you're not seeing, and I'm not gonna pull it down, uh, these here come down and these wings come out, which adds about another three feet. And if you look at my guy line and the triangle that makes, that's about the same shape that the vestibule ends up making. Now I don't need that space, and we're sleeping with the doors open to allow nice cool air inside, and it's been working out very well. So I'm not gonna take this down, but if you look at uh, some prior photos of my Krua Duo, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Now I don't think I necessarily needed to truly stake this down, but I did stake it down in all four corners, which worked out fairly well. The stakes do come with the tent, and there's plenty for the entire setup, which is nice. And the other thing that we do have in most locations are guy line tie-outs. Now one of the updates that I see on this tent versus my original Duo is these little pockets, which is kind of cool. So it's self-contained and actually keeps these lines right in there, which is definitely nice. The one thing I wonder about is if it was raining or snowing or you had this in you know, some wet conditions, would this pocket fill up and then be a moisture point? Probably not a big deal. I mean, I'm sure it would, but not a huge deal overall. I do like the fact that that's nice and tidy. On my Duo, these just kind of hang there, which is okay, but the fact that on this Duo Max, they have these pockets, and I think on the newer versions of the Duo, uh, now it does have that pocket 
pocket as well. That's a nice update. Now setup is very straightforward. As you saw, we basically just slide these poles through these sleeves. Now this is a continuous sleeve from the top all the way around to the other side. And at that point, all you're really doing is taking these poles and popping them down inside some grommets. Mine are buried right now, not a big deal. But you can see there, that little shiny grommet. So this fits down nicely right inside on both sides. Simple clip, just clipping it in place. And that's the case for front and back. So you'll see this crisscross design. One pole going over the other. Very simple, no big deal, nothing to it. And again, the fact that it's a continuous sleeve is nice. Sometimes tents have a gap in this sleeve. And what happens is as you're sliding the tent pole through, it can actually get caught and snagged. This works a little bit better where there's nothing to get snagged and you just simply push it from one end all the way to the other. And it's also exactly the same for the front vestibule. So this too has a tent pole running through it in that continuous sleeve. And then you'll see here, a couple of guy outs. Now you do need to use these to pull this forward. Otherwise this will kind of flop back. And that's all another design that if you wanted to, you really don't have to have this completely pulled forward. In theory, you could have this folded back and nice and tidy if you wanted to. And it would give you even a little bit more airflow, but you get rid of your sort of front porch and vestibule area. So for us, this has worked out very well where we've been putting our shoes and boots in the corners and just a couple things, our water bottles and whatnot. And that way, if we need to get up in the middle of the night, they're right where we need them but they're out of the weather. And if I have to, again, I can take this, drop it down, and everything's nice and concealed. Now, continuing to go through the exterior, you'll notice that this tent is sitting literally directly on the ground. I don't have a ground sheet under here, and I have never used a ground sheet with my Duo either. This is a nice, thick, almost rubberized bathtub floor, and I found that I really don't need an, an additional ground sheet. This seems to do a good job. I've never had water problems in my Duo. I wouldn't expect to have problems in my Duo Max either. Now, one thing you might notice is there is no fly. This is a completely integral setup with no fly. You can get a fly for the top if you want to add additional protection. The fly can be turned either direction, green or silver. Silver being good in the summertime, helping to reflect the sun, keeping things cool. But there, there is no mesh. I mean, there's literally no mesh on this tent with the exception that you do have these vents. So vents on both top sides. So on the left side and also on the right, you can see here, two vents. And then on the bottom, you have this vent that pulls out. And this actually works very well to help with just a little bit of convection and keeping that cool air moving throughout the tent. Now again, on the back of the tent, you'll see you do have some additional tie outs. So additional tie outs all the way around. So not only can you stake this down, but you can definitely tie it out. And that's gonna be important if you're using this in super windy conditions. Now, as we take a little bit of a closer look, you will see some funny things that you can't quite make sense of, like what's with this Velcro? What are some of these toggles? Well, when it's all said and done, you can actually connect this particular tent to other Krua tents and make a system. So more like a lodge system. And that's the case both with the Duo and the Duo Max, which is really cool. And I like the fact that Krua thinks a little bit outside of the box. You'll see with a lot of their products, they're not just giving you the same old cookie cutter sort of tent and similar style. They are actually thinking outside of the box to give you options, versatility, flexibility, and something you really can't get from anybody else. Now, one of the designs I greatly like about these Krua tents is the way they do their doors. They're basically like two separate doors. It has a central zip and then side zips. And that's the case also for the exterior door. So not only do you have the vestibule, but you have this door as well. So you have a number of levels of protection if you need it. So I can close this. I can leave the vestibule open. I can close the vestibule if I wish. I can even pull it all the way out and extend it even further. This Duo Max is sweet. And so the way I found to operate the zipper is for easy one hand operation. Basically first pull up the middle and then pull the sides. 
in sort of the reverse order, the opposite when you get back in. But as we get inside here and taking a look, this is a nice, large, and excellent three-person tent. Definitely plenty of room for three people. And where for me, I'm sleeping here with my two kids, we have more than enough room. I can tell you in terms of length, if I push my mattress all the way to where my head would be at that end, I still have a couple of feet with ease. So I fit in here perfectly. And actually, the headroom's really good. I mean, I can sit up completely. My kids can actually almost stand up, and my little guy definitely can, which is really neat. Now, it does get a little bit warm in here during the day. I can tell you right now, it's a little bit warmer than I would like, especially from the fact that I don't really have any mesh anywhere, but at night, it is extremely comfortable. Krua has a unique fabric. Their actual tarp material is insulated. And I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. And that's one of the things that Krua does best is insulated tents. You can actually add the Krua cocoon to this, which is an interesting uh, addition where it's a quilted interior. And I do use the Krua cocoon on my Duo. So you can also get a Krua cocoon Duo Max which allows this to have a quilted interior for really cold conditions. It is very, very nice. It's quiet, it's dark, and it's warm. Now as I go through the tent, I always look at the tape. So seam tape everywhere, nice and flat, running from the top all the way down to the corners, which is great. That's exactly what you want, and especially for a tent that's not utilizing a fly. I really am relying on this exterior surface to keep me dry. I do not want to have any water penetration. So to have a good tape job, nice and flat and continuous from beginning to end is definitely a plus. Now, as I mentioned in the morning, there wasn't too much in the way of condensation. There was just a tiny bit, a little bit maybe down lower, um, not a big deal. And because you have these vents, everything's able to really exhaust and vent out very well. So I find that I don't have too much of a moisture problem, at least certainly not this time of the year. And the Duo Max, just like the Duo, has a couple of pockets right on the side. You can see it works out well for me. I put my battery charger, I put my phone. I actually have my wallet and the keys in here to keep them in a safe place so they're not just sitting around. I got my flashlight in there. And you have one of these on each side, which works out very, very well. So at the 50% mark, halfway down on the side of the tent. Now you can see little tie outs to hold back the mesh if you wish. I'm gonna keep it tied up because right now it's a little bit buggy. But as I sit here, look how nice this is. You could just sit here and chill out, enjoy this afternoon in the shade. If I scoot up here, I can sit on my little vestibule seat, just kind of hang out. My kids have been hanging out here all weekend, which is really neat. Just zipping everything up, making sure the bugs don't get in. Again, even while I'm filming, one-handed operation, which is nice. Very simple, very smooth. I'm not worried about any zipper snagging. And it just leaves me to sit here in the shade and relax and enjoy my view. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A feature overview of the Krua Outdoors Duo Max. I can say I highly, highly recommend this tent. It is amazing. If you're with a family, this is a great option. If you're with just a couple of people, again, another great option. Maybe just a little bit on the heavy side for the backpacking application, but if you want comfort, quality, and something that's gonna keep you nice and secure and comfortable, I would say it's definitely worth it. Feature rich, very high quality, extremely well made, and I can say a tent that I highly recommend. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.